Welcome to the Talent Management Console, an application allowing you to easily manage users, define roles, build groups, and orchestrate projects in your cloud applications. This video will show you how to create a new remote engine within the Talent Management Console, download it onto your local machine, and get it up and running. And then I will show you how easy it is to execute a job while utilizing the new remote engine. A remote engine is an on-premises execution environment that can be installed behind my firewall or security processes within my corporate infrastructure, giving me the ability to configure, schedule, and execute talent jobs on-premises through the Talent Management Console web interface. Creating a new remote engine is typically a task completed by a Talent Management Console administrator and is as simple as heading to the Engines tab and clicking Add Remote Engine. Remote engines can be allocated to any workspace or environment, but I will create this remote engine in my personal workspace and give it a memorable name. And I'll click Save. And just like that, my remote engine has been allocated within the chosen workspace. The status is currently not paired, but don't worry. Once I download and install the remote engine on my local server, it will automatically pair with the Talent Management Console. Let's download it now. I'll need this remote engine key in a few minutes to complete the installation and pairing process, so I'll click the copy icon. I'll choose the download option most suitable for my machine. After a few moments, my remote engine setup wizard will finish downloading. It welcomes me and I'll click next. I need to accept the license and confirm the installation directory. I want to install the remote engine as a system service and select my region from the dropdown. Then I will paste the remote engine key I copied a minute ago. Finally, if I had any proxy settings that needed to be defined for my specific network, I could add them here, but for now, I'll leave this section blank. Finally, I'll click Next to start the installation. Once installation is complete, I can review my services on my local machine and ensure my remote engine service is available. And here it is, set to run automatically. I can also head back to the Talent Management Console and see that my new remote engine has indeed been automatically paired. Now I'll show you how to run a job using my new remote engine. I'm going to head into Talent Studio where I've already modified my original Dropbox job and saved it as a new job. I've adjusted how my source file is read into my process, reconfiguring my T file delimited component to indicate where my file is located on my local server. I also reused this parameter upload path context variable, giving me the flexibility to update the file location right within Talent Cloud without modifying and republishing this job. Like the last job, I also have my country codes variable directed to use the resource within the Talent Management Console. With my job reconfigured to utilize the remote engine, I can publish this job to the Talent Cloud and choose to execute it on my new remote engine. Once my job is finished downloading, I can head back to the Talent Management Console and review my new task available within my workspace. I'll enter the configuration settings and make sure my upload path is set to my C drive. I need to set my Snowflake connection and configure this task to utilize my country code resource. And finally, I can now select my new remote engine as my runtime and set to run it now. And just like that, I've successfully ran my job using my remote engine. Thanks for watching and please continue watching this series for more demonstrations of what this application has to offer.